Good morning, my dear students. How are you? I hope that you are all fine and safe. My dear students, our topic: nutrition, the food supply system. Previous class explained factors related during photosynthesis process. Factors related during photosynthesis process. Factors like water, air, light, and chlorophyll. And chlorophyll. These factors are essential by the process of photosynthesis. Already previous explained water. Air, air like carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is essential by the process of photosynthesis. Without carbon dioxide, the plants cannot making food material. Without carbon dioxide, plants cannot cannot prepare the food material. Already previous explained one of the activity. Carbon dioxide is essential by the process of photosynthesis. How can you prove that carbon dioxide is essential by the process of photosynthesis? By the process of photosynthesis. Very very important in examination point of view. Experimentation and field investigation. Types of questions already previous explained three activities. One is how can you prove that starch is formed during the process of photosynthesis? A. Joseph Priestley experiment. Joseph Priestley experiment. Third one is carbon dioxide is essential by the process of photosynthesis. These three activities are very very important in examination point of view, experimentation and field investigation. Today we will discussing one of the important factor of photosynthesis, light. Put side to all of you, light and photosynthesis. Light and photosynthesis. Light and photosynthesis. <clears throat> Listen very carefully. Light is a form of energy. Light is a form of energy. Form of energy. Light is a form of energy. The light ray consists of tiny particles tiny particles the light ray consists of tiny particles smallest particles is called photon is called photon what is meant by photon examination point of view half mark question what is meant by photon the light ray consists of tiny particles is called photon. In the photon, energy is present. Energy. The energy present in the photon. The energy present in the photon is called quantum. Quantum. Or quanta. The energy present in the photon. The energy present in the photon is called quantum or quanta. Very very important, my dear students. These two definitions. What is photon? The light ray consists of tiny particles. Is called photon. The energy present. 
within the photon is called quantum or quanta. Light is one of the part of light is one of the part of one of the part of electromagnetic magnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation. Light is one of the part of electromagnetic radiation. Light is one of the part of electromagnetic radiation. It consists of cosmic rays, ultraviolet rays, ultraviolet rays, X rays, gamma rays. Gamma rays, infrared rays, and VCR. And VCR. Light is one of the part of electromagnetic radiation. It consists of cosmic rays, ultraviolet rays, X rays, gamma rays, infrared rays, and VCR. All these rays are present in the photon. All these rays are present in the photon. Okay. The normal wavelength of visible light. The normal wavelength of visible light. Very, very important point, my dear students. The normal wavelength of visible light. The normal wavelength of visible light is about 400 to 700 nanometers. The normal wavelength of visible light is about 400 to 700 nanometer. Very, very important. Half mark question. What is the normal wavelength of visible light is 400 to 700 nanometers. Light is one of the part of electromagnetic radiation. The wavelength is increases. If the wavelength is increases, energy per quantum decreases. Inversely proportional. The wavelength is increases. If the wavelength is increases, energy per quantum will be decreases. Wavelength increase in the angel to the dark. If the wavelength is increases, the energy per quantum, the energy per quantum decreases. Inversely proportional. Inversely proportional. If the wavelength is increases, the energy per quantum will be decreases. In the light contain Vixion. Vixion. These are the normal wave, normal rays. Vixion rays. Rainbow colors. Rainbow colors. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. These are the normal rays. Cosmic, ultraviolet rays, X-rays, gamma rays and infrared rays. These are the powerful rays. Most powerful rays. Normal rays present in the sunlight. That is rainbow colors. Vibzia, violet, indigo, blue, green. Yellow, orange, and red. What is the normal wavelength of visible light? 400 to 700 nanometers. My dear students, the normal rays of the light, the normal rays of the visible light, the maximum rate of photosynthesis takes place in blue color rays and red color rays. Very, very important point. 
the maximum rate of photosynthesis takes place in blue color and red color rays in examination point of view the maximum rate of photosynthesis takes place the maximum the maximum rate of photosynthesis photosynthesis takes place in takes place in blue color and red color rays blue color and red color rays if you see are not a color rays we put the photosynthesis this put the ante blue color and red color rays the maximum rate of photosynthesis takes place in blue color and red color rays in green color rays does not takes photosynthesis does not take photosynthesis why the chlorophyll molecule the chlorophyll is green color we know that green color so the green color rays does not takes place in photosynthesis because chlorophyll is a green color that's why the maximum rate of photosynthesis takes place in blue and red color rays blue and red color rays this is the light this is light this is one of the external factor is essential by the process of photosynthesis sunlight is one of the external factor this is used for photosynthesis process are you understood right during 17th century during 17th century process of photosynthesis energy is required energy is essential light energy is essential for the process of photosynthesis after joseph priestley several scientists made effort for the process of photosynthesis during 17th century john ingel has john ingel has I know my dear friends during 17th century during 17th century John Ingel Haas 1732-1799 John Ingel Haas found the answer find out the answer he studied the plant using light energy by the process of photosynthesis plants using light energy by the process of photosynthesis and released oxygen and released oxygen the light ray when light rays when light rays entered into the plant body carbon dioxide also entered into the plant body carbon dioxide water sunlight and chlorophyll all these factors combined to give the form of glucose or starch during this process oxygen is released oxygen is released during 17th century john ingel has found the answer light energy light energy light energy is essential light energy is required light energy is required and oxygen is formed he noticed that he noticed that happened only in the presence of light he noticed that light is present light is present oxygen is formed if light is absent oxygen is not formed he noticed that compulsory light is present of 
oxygen is formed. If light is absent, so oxygen is not formed. And in what is this? John Ingen has said this already. What is this? By the process of photosynthesis, light energy is essential. Light energy is present, oxygen is formed. If light energy is absent, oxygen is not formed. He was doing an experiment. He was doing an experiment. Aquatic plants like hydrilla plant. He was conducted an experiment. Aquatic plants like hydrilla. The bright light is entered into the hydrilla plant. A bubbles are released. Small gas bubbles are released from the hydrilla plant. These gas bubbles, these gas bubbles are burning, burning. So this burning indicates that oxygen. He proved, he proved, but dark places, dark places means a light is absent. Oxygen is not formed. He was also founded that the small gas bubbles released from the aquatic plant like hydrilla, these gas bubbles considered as oxygen. These gas bubbles considered as oxygen. After that, in a proof case, then you ever confirm case around until now. Angel man, angel man confirmed that oxygen is released from plant body in the presence of light. It was further confirmed that oxygen is released from green plants in the presence of light during 20th century. During 20th century. It was confirmed that until now oxygen is released from green plant bodies in the presence of light. He was conducted so many experiments. He was conducted so many experiments. Okay. Now, how can you prove that? How can you prove that oxygen is released by the process of photosynthesis? In the presence of light, how can you prove that? How can you prove that oxygen is released by the process of photosynthesis in the presence of light? Write down the question. How can you prove that oxygen is released? During the process of photosynthesis. During the process of photosynthesis. Very, very important question, my dear students. In examination point of view, another activity. How can you prove that oxygen is released during the process of photosynthesis? In this activity, aim to prove that. Oxygen is released. Oxygen is released. Oxygen is released during the process of photosynthesis. During the process of photosynthesis. To prove that oxygen is released during the process of photosynthesis, apparatus or requirements, apparatus or requirements, take hydrilla plant bits, hydrilla plant bits, or elodia, elodia, very very important my dear students. Hydrilla plant bits, elodia, 
क्लास बी को क्लास बी के टेस्टियो टेस्टियो फनेल ग्लास फनेल टेस्टियो ग्लास फनेल ग्लास फनेल बर्निंग स्प्रिंटर और स्प्रिंट लैंड बर्निंग स्प्रिंटर एंड वाटर दीज आर द ऑपरेटर्स फॉर दिस एक्टिविटी हाइड्रोलिक प्लांट बिंस एलोडियम ग्लास बीकर टेस्ट शो ग्लास पनेल बर्निंग स्प्रिंटर वाटर दीज आर द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर दिस एक्टिविटी we can prove that oxygen is released by the process of photosynthesis i don't know of now procedure now procedure now procedure First of all, take a glass beaker. Take a glass beaker. Take a glass beaker. Add some amount of water. Take a glass beaker. Add some amount of water. Take a glass beaker. Add some amount of water. Take a glass funnel. Actually, funnel is a it's like a home-like structure. Home-like structure. Home-like structure room. Take a glass funnel and small idola plant bits is placed in the is placed in the glass funnel. These glass funnels, uh, uh, idola plant bits placed in a glass funnel. These glass funnel is carefully inserted, carefully inserted. In a glass beaker, in a glass beaker in inverted position, inverted position. This glass funnel is placed in a glass beaker in inverted position, inverted position. Already, you have placed the hydrogen plant bits. In a glass pan, in a glass panel, hydrilla plant bits. This is a aquatic plant. This is a aquatic plant. Okay. And. Take a test tube. Take a glass test tube. Take a glass test tube. This glass test tube is also inserted inverted position in the glass funnel. In the glass funnel. This glass test tube is also placed. Is also inserted. Inverted position. Inverted position. This glass tube, the tube can also place it. Inverted position in the glass cup. Compulsory, the water can be entered into the glass funnel, glass funnel to the tube. If sufficient amount of water is not present in the glass beaker, add some amount of water. Add some amount of 
for that. This is set up. This is set up. First of all, take a glass beaker, add some amount of water, and take a glass funnel. In this glass funnel, place some some pieces of hydrolog, some bits of hydrolog plant bits in a glass funnel. This glass funnel is carefully inserted inverted position in a glass beaker. Next, you can take the test tube, glass test tube. These glass tubes can also inserted carefully inverted position in the glass funnel. Inverted position in the glass funnel. If sufficient amount of water is not present in the glass beaker, add some amount of water. Compulsory, the water is entered into the glass funnel, glass funnel to glass funnel to glass beaker. This is set up. This entire setup, this entire setup kept in sunlight two or three hours. Two or three hours. This entire setup is kept in sunlight for two or three hours. After two or three hours, we can observe that the small bubbles. The small bubbles comes from the the small gas bubbles. Some bubbles are comes from the hydrolog plant bits. Hydrolog plant bits. Small bubbles are comes from the hydrolog plant bits. After some time, you have to observe that the small bubbles. Gas bubbles are released from the hydrolog plant bits. Two to three hours of sun will beta more, sunlight will beta more. The center setup is kept in sunlight for two or three hours. After three hours, you can observe that the small gas bubbles are released from the hydrolog plant bits. These are released. Next, we can carefully collect the gas bubbles in a test tube. Carefully collected the gas bubbles in a test tube. In just one blow, carefully collected the carefully remove the test tube from glass funnel. Our thumb, our thumb is placed on the mouth of the test tube. Carefully, your thumb is placed on the mouth of the test tube and. Remove the glass test tube. The glass test tube contain bubbles, collected gas bubbles, collected gas bubbles, collected gas bubbles. Carefully remove the, the collected gas bubbles test tube. We can place your thumb on the mouth of the test tube. Out of the test tube. This this is the collected gas bubbles. How can you say that these gas bubbles are oxygen? Collected gas bubbles are oxygen. How can you say that these collected gas bubbles can be placed in can be placed in burning splinter or spirit lamp? Burning splinter or spirit lamp. Burning splinter or spirit lamp. Or match stick. Or match stick. Burning splinter or spirit lamp or match stick. Match stick. The flame. We can place the test tube in a burning splinter. In a burning splinter, the flame can burns vigorously. The flame can burns vigorously means bright fur. Means bright fur. 
the collected gas bubbles can touch in the burning splinter or spirit lamp or matchstick. The flame can burn vigorously. The flame can burn vigorously. So these bubbles are oxygen gas. You know that oxygen is a burning gas. Oxygen is a burning gas. We know that oxygen is a burning gas. So this simple activity, simple activity indicates that oxygen is released during by the process of photosynthesis. The simple activity indicates that oxygen is released by the process of photosynthesis. Okay, my dear students. So this is one of the activity. This is one of the activity. Okay, very very important. Right? Procedure last time. Final the procedure that we did last time. Inference and all. Inference or conclusion. Inference or conclusion. Inference or conclusion means. The small gas bubbles released from the hydrolar plant bits. These gas bubbles can be touched into the touch the continuous burning of a splinter or flame. The flame can burn. If we take touch as a more, the flame can burn vigorously or bright for or bright for. This indicates that. This indicates that. This indicates that oxygen is released. Oxygen is released during by the process of by the process of photosynthesis. By the process of photosynthesis. Okay, that is inference or Conclusion. Write any precautions also. Precaution means, for example, carefully remove the test tube and carefully place the thumb on the mouth of the test tube. Carefully insert the test tube in the glass panel and carefully remove remove test tube from the glass panel and place it in your thumb. On the mouth of the test tube. These are the precautions. These are the precautions. Okay. So this simple activity, this simple activity indicates that oxygen is released by the process of photosynthesis. Okay. Light completed. One of the external factor of photosynthesis. Light completed. Okay. Right. Once we call today the topic external factor of photosynthesis. One of the external factor of photosynthesis light. Once we call light is a form of energy. The light ray consists of tiny particles. Tiny particles. The light ray consists of tiny particles is called photon. Photon. The energy present in the photon. The energy present in the photon is called quantum or quantum. The energy present in the photon 
is called quanta or quantum light is one of the part of electromagnetic radiation electromagnetic radiation light is one of the part of electromagnetic radiation the light ray the, the electromagnetic radiation consists of ultraviolet rays infrared rays cosmic rays gamma rays x rays and vixion and vixion ultraviolet rays infrared rays cosmic rays gamma rays x rays and vixion except vixion all these are powerful rays and the harmful rays we know that these rays are directly entered into the earth it causes health problems you know that vixia normal rays rainbow colors the normal wavelength of visible light the normal wavelength of visible light 400 to 700 nanometers the normal wavelength of visible light is about 400 to 700 nanometers the wavelength increases the wavelength increases the energy per quantum the energy per quantum decreases the energy per quantum decreases inversely proportional inversely proportional The normal wavelength is 400 to 700 nanometers. If the wavelength increases, energy per quantum will be decreases. Vixia means violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. By the process of photosynthesis, blue colored and red colored rays. The maximum rate of photosynthesis. The maximum rate of photosynthesis takes place in blue and red color rays once we call my dear students today i explain light and photosynthesis oxygen is released by the process of photosynthesis in the presence of sunlight who was discovered john ingen hals john ingen hals found that oxygen is released by the process of photosynthesis in the presence of sunlight Manipur. who was confirmed ingel man ingel man confirmed oxygen is released by the process of photosynthesis in the presence of sunlight and explain one of the activity how can you prove that oxygen is released by the process of photosynthesis hydrilla plant experiment elodia this is aquatic plant hydrilla or elodia plant experiment next class another one of the activity sunlight is essential by the process of photosynthesis and chlorophyll okay my dear students thank you thank you one and all ओके सर राजशेखर सर और प्रिंसिपल सर जॉइंट है ये गेम ही सर नो प्रॉब्लम ओके थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर